Hi, my name is Theogan Wargo, and this is my long term on Adams and BB guns. So, what my long term's on is I'm going to be shooting BB guns at a can and a golf ball to see how they'll bounce off. I'm also doing it because it's sort of a way to model how we discover the nucleus of an atom. So, where I got this idea was I was working with my dad on his bubble chamber, and we were talking about how people found the nucleus of an atom. <coughs> So what we did uh, discover it was we would shoot off particles at an atom and see what would happen. So what would either happen was we would it would mo miss most of the time because th we thought because this is what an actual atom is. An uh, actual atom is 99% empty space, but this is what we thought the atom was. The plum, the plum pudding model, sort of like a blob with a bunch of circles in it. But most of the time, the yeah, particles would just miss because the nucleus is like one percent of the atom. But whenever it hit it, like it would either join the atom's nucleus or it would throw the alpha particle back. So these people thought it was crazy. So <clears throat> my claim is that the ricochets will be random and. I also think that only about 1% of the BBs I shoot will be, uh, will ricochet because it, an atom is mostly empty space, and, well 99% empty space, and that 1% is mostly the nucleus, so my claim is that only 1% will shoot back. So before firing, I loaded both of my BB guns with as many BBs as possible. And each BB gun holds 119, and I'm sh and I have two guns, so I'll be shooting a t total of 238 shots. <clears throat> and the reason I'm saying this is because I know how many BBs will bounce b off, but I also want to know how many miss. So how I set up was I made a sort of circle out of posts, and then I put wrapping paper around it. And the reason I put wrapping paper around it is that way I'll be able to see, like, whenever the BBs shoot off, I'll be able to see, like, a hole in the wrapping paper, and that'll tell me where <clears throat> the BB ricocheted. And I made a big protractor for it, and I made it every 10 degrees. So then there's just a picture of me f shooting. And then my results were, like, random. I didn't get very many ricochets, as I stated in my claim. Overall, I shot 238 shots, but I only know that 19 ricocheted, and be, and more could have ricocheted, but there was a ton of holes in the front, as you can see right there in the back. Those could have been ricochets, but the, with the front, I could have missed, and with the back, they could have just went through the can, so I really don't know, but I put all the market, but I, but that's why you'll see a bunch of markings at near 180 degrees on my graph. 180 degrees is near the back. So this is what a ricochet looks like. You can see right there, there's uh like flap sticking out, <clears throat> and that's where the BB came out. And the reason, and I know it, that wasn't from me shooting in, because if I was shooting in, then the BB would... Well, then it would leave a flap inside, not outside. Anyways, that's it blown up more. And here's my graph. You can see it's pretty much random. And for an example, like at 40 degrees, I have two holes. That's the number of holes. That's the angle. And then, like I said, that's the back right there. Those are a bunch that I couldn't like count officially. But I just put them there. And the reason I have that exact number there is because if you add all these markings together, you'll get 238. And that's the total number of shots I fired. So then I realized I screwed up. So here's 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270. And then I thought that there was also 360. But it turns out th 360 degrees is the same as zero degrees. So what I had to do was I marked 
like 90 degrees, 180, 270, and 360. And then I cut open this, and then I put markings of the angles along, <clears throat> and then I circled where all the ricochets were. And you can see right there is the back, and then there's just a bunch of random ones. And then this is my new graph, the one that is right. You can see not very many ricochets, pretty random. Right there is the back. The max uh, amount of BBs I had was 185, had 35 holes. <clears throat> and the reason I think there's this little gap right here in between 100. 85 and 205 is because I think that's where the can, my can was because whenever I took out the can when I was done shooting I realized that it had a bunch of BBs in it so that might have been where all the BBs went instead of going through the can and marking at that an angle so what I did next was since not very many ri ricocheted off my last test I thought I'd do another test but this time I would use a uh, golf ball because it's a sphere in nucleus and a nucleus is a sphere <clears throat> and I'd make it pretty much identical but but I just make it smaller I, I'd hang it from a tree with a cardboard frame and that's pretty much it there's the cardboard frame there's the wrapping paper but th and this time when I made it I made it with the uh, I made my protractor every 5 degrees instead of every 10, that way my angle would, that way my readings would be more accurate. So look at the golf ball right there and you'll be able to see it bounce because a red shit is happening. So my results were sort of similar, but not really. <clears throat> so my so my actual results were the exact same. 19 confirmed ricochets, and a bunch of the BBs went through the back. But I know more came back, because whenever me and my dad were shooting, we could see them fly back towards us. But that but they came back through the hole that we were shooting from, so that's why they didn't mark on them wrapping paper and then here's my graph you can see not very many not very many and then here's the back <clears throat> like about 180 degrees or a little less than 180 degrees because we were firing from a slight angle and then not very many and then all along the bottom those those are just all zeros and same thing if you add all these up you'll get 238 that's why i had that so in conclusion 19 he bbs hit both of the targets and they bounced off in pretty much random patterns and i had a bunch of miss and go through the back but i know on my second test more came back because whenever me and my dad were shooting we could see them come back at us but realistically this test that i did isn't going to be very accurate in the grand scheme of things because he, that little dot right there would be the nucleus of an atom and this circle right here is all the empty space S and realistically this would be unrealistic due to the size of both of these objects they would be enormous because right now like since i had that golf ball if it was a real life model of it that like electron would be like a mile and a half away from here so what would be more realistic is if i sh tried shooting a bb but that would be like nearly impossible to do but even then it's still not going to be very accurate because it's still way b bigger than the nucleus of an atom which is like more than microscopic any questions and if you would like, take a picture of this QR code, and then you can send me back any information or details. And thanks for your time.